Good morning, it's Friday the 25th of March. I'm on the lower Newton Arge Road. And Freedom Corner is just with all the, the murals on the on the uh, walls, it's just down here. And this is St Patrick's Church of Ireland. And there's a massive big uh, Masonic building across the road. Really big. And we've got uh, an education board here. And this is the heartland of um, East Belfast. Middle years of the 19th century saw an influx of strong limbed country folk to East Belfast. They set up home in the red brick terraces of Ballymacarrot and they worked in the Harland and Roof shipyard and Sorocco engineering works and they worshipped in the churches in the lower Newton Arch Road. And there were riveters and, and uh, boiler men and all the rest of it. Many of Belfast's uh, old terrace, two up, two down streets, have since disappeared. But McMaster Street, which I'm going to have a wee look at now, survives and has been restored to a new lease of life. Built between 1898 and 1908, its parlour houses had a front ground floor parlour reserved for good occasions. And you, you probably brought the minister in there. Or anybody, you know, any relatives that you wanted to impress, you brought them into the parlour. And there was a back kitchen where food was prepared and eaten and, and uh, there was a single story return and it was called the scullery, a, a working kitchen, a tiled yard in the back that had an outside toilet and a coal house and there were two bedrooms upstairs and there was no bathroom and if you uh, wanted a, a bath you brought the tin bath in and into uh, the, 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 the parlour <laughs> where the coal fire was and uh, that's where you uh, had your, you filled it with, with a kettle and there was about three inches of water in the bottom of it. Uh, a jawbone kitchen sink was the order of the day in the, uh, in the kitchen. Belfast mass of industrial growth during the 19th century came at a price. For most working class families, living conditions were appalling. 1870s, 50% of the children died before reaching the age of 10. Oh my goodness. Dr. Pitt Memorial Park was created as a memorial to a local doctor who provided outstanding service um, for the people in the area. Once a busy walkway through the shipyards, the park is now uh, home to a bronze sculptor of the yard man by artist Ross Wilson and I've I videoed that, which commemorates the hard-working men of the Belfast shipyard. No hard-working uh, girls as well. And here's one of them. In the crowded terraces of Victoria and uh, Belfast, kidding clean was a constant problem. So when the Lord Mayor of Belfast, the Right Honourable uh, Sir Daniel Dixon, opened Temple Poor public baths in 1893, said these were for the cleansing of the body on Saturday so that the soul might be cleansed on Sunday. And these um, baths meant so much uh, to local people they could enjoy a swim for a few and said they could uh, have a steaming hot bath up to their neck. The uh, commemorative plaque on the entrance to the baths tells us that James Ellis and football legend George Bass swam here but the, the list could include such famous East Belfast names as Van Morrison, C.S. Lewis and playwright Mary Jones. Oh, there's one of those wee scooters with uh, two wheels up the front. 
think they're traffic wardens actually. So this is McMaster Street. And Kenneth Branagh has made a film on Belfast. And you know, I, I'm, I'm just so, so disappointed in its authenticity. It was filmed, it was filmed, I don't know, across the water because of COVID. But it should have been filmed here because this is authentic, this is original. This is the closest you're going to get to uh, authentic Belfast and the wee uh, side streets. How are you doing? This is the only example of Belfast's artisan homes with this distinctive brickwork. And, and this is, uh, you know, it's well known. A wee backyard. Uh, probably no, uh, no gardens, no gardens certainly out the front, they're straight out onto the pavement, but uh, I don't think there's any gardens out the back either. And the distinct, the, uh, this, this street has been used uh, by filmmakers, you know, because it's authentic, as I say. And the decorative paint or brickwork emphasises emphasizes that these were these were actually quality houses. There was a parlour in the front, there was a kitchen uh, back behind that, and then there was a scullery. And other Belfast, uh, two up, two down streets, didn't have that. They had, they just had a kitchen uh, and a, a, a back scullery, or maybe it was a back bedroom. And then two beds upstairs. But, but this is this. These were quality houses, and they were for artisans. And what I mean by artisans, I mean that carpenters, printers, bakers, uh, boiler men, uh, riveters, printers. You know. And they were brought in from the the, the rural countryside. Uh, because uh, because Belfast was booming, this was you know the eighteen fifties, and uh, Belfast was really at its heyday as regards work. The, you know there was the shipyard, it was, it was expanding fast, and uh, there was uh, rope works, and there was uh, the linen industry, and there was linen mills all over the place. A lot of these guys went off and fought in the First and Second World War and never came back. So this is McMaster Street. A lot of history behind this street. And it has uh, received a, a refurb, I think, back in the uh, two, year 2000. Uh, so uh, the, the, uh, I'm afraid the doors and uh, the window frames are, uh, are all new. And uh, these houses were lit by paraffin uh, lamps and uh, gas lamps originally. And they had a coal fire. And it would have uh, been used for cooking as well.
and these houses would have been uh, mostly rented. So, uh, no toilet uh, in the house, but there would be a toilet in the, in the outside yard. And no bathroom. You, you had a tin bath wash, as I said. So this is real authentic Belfast. These ones at the end here would have probably been even better class houses because they they would have had uh, another story. So if you want uh, Protestant heartland, no better place to come to than uh, McMaster Street. One of the originals. Not too many of these these uh, kind of streets left, if any, as in you know, as in good nick as this one. Well, I forgot to mention that all of these streets would have been cobbled. Now, this is the original cobble stones from. A hundred years ago, probably. The rest of the street has been tar um, concreted. So this is the way it would have originally have been.